Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett, and my hands is World Record Holders by Guy Delee, uh, published by Drawn and Quarterly. Uh, this is a rather interesting one from Guy Delee. Uh, so Guy Delee is a uh, cartoonist and someone that I absolutely love his his work. Um, he's done these really kind of interesting travel logs. Um, uh, he's gone to Pyongyang, Shenzhen, Burma and uh, Jerusalem, each kind of uh, discussing his time there and his observations. Uh, he also has done some interesting graphic novels uh, that are kind of autobiographical about his kind of experiences in life, and um, I think there's one about him being a, a dad, which I thought was really funny. I'm pretty sure it was his that I'm thinking of. Um, so he does this, like, really interesting mix of observational cartoons and autobiographical cartoons. It's a, it's a really weird mix um, and kind of hard to describe. I mean, there's there's almost like a Seinfeld type aspect to it with the observations. Um, and I love I've loved his graphic novels. I think they are so good, so excellent. Um, you know, open up a world. Really, kind of are, are uh, fantastic ways to kind of learn about these different um, cultures and cities. So this one, world record holders, is is a collection, a bunch of shorts that he's done. Um, and it goes from, was there, it was like 1995, the, the latest one I think is 2014, but for the most part it's late 90s, early 2000s, uh, and it's all over the place as far as, um, as far as like what he covers. It's a lot of observations, there's a lot of kind of like short cartoons with humor, uh, a little bit about his life, a little bit kind of like just his thoughts in general, um, and they're interesting. Like it's, uh, it feels very European in many ways. Uh, and for those who read it, I think you'd understand what I'm kind of getting at. Uh, and you know, there's a, just a sense of style. Like, like Delee really gives a, a fantastic sense of style uh, that's pretty consistent, and you know it's his work. The cartoons for me though are, are pretty kind of they're hit and miss. Like it's not my favorite work of his. Um, in fact, out of probably everything you put out, this might be the one I like the least. Um, yeah, I mean, out of every... Yeah, he did the parody. He did four parodying books, and all of them are awesome. Um, yeah, I think out of all of them, this one is probably like the least. But it's still really interesting and, and, and kind of a fantastic... It's a, a smattering introduction to his work. So it really kind of covers a broad space as to like everything he's done and like the type of works he's done and the type of cartoons he does um and observations and stuff like that but overall like i think there's stronger works to check out like any of his travel logs are amazing pyongyang shenzhen jerusalem and then burma are amazing um he's got four books about parenting and from what i remember every single one is, is really funny and hilarious um there's one that's uh about true life hostage situation uh, and then a final one is about his time working in a summer when he was kind of like starting to go to, to college and for cartooning. Um, to me, all of those are much stronger than this. Like, there's, there's some really good stuff in this, but to me, some of it falls flat. It's that very, like, you need to think about it type cartoons. Um, a lot, I think a lot of his other stuff is much quicker to pick up uh, and to the point. Um, a lot of it's very just out there weird. Uh, it, it reminds me of... Like, just honestly, a lot of, like, the European animated shorts that I've watched in the past where you kind of just, like, this is interesting, and you kind of, like, sitting there staring at it and wondering if you need to be high to, like, truly understand the meaning. Um, but, you know, it's it's his style, and I think what's interesting is, like, there's also styles that, you know, are, are kind of surprising that, uh, that are his. Um, and you can see here, like, this is what I would call his style. This is very much a Guy Delee, uh style. And then there's stuff like this, which is just not what I would expect from him, doing a, almost a, year, a, a lot of panels in a, uh, in a um, short. And then you have something like this, um, pretty much wordless for the most part, kind of like his art style, a little bit different. Uh, and then again, this one, very, very different style. This one I, I call like very European. I can see this as an animated film um, and the, the motion that goes with it. But I mean, overall, it, it's an interesting, and I actually think the thing that I, li that I do like about this, it really shows 
he has a very broad sense of style. Like the books that I've mentioned are all similar in look, similar in, in storytelling, um, similar in their kind of like observations. Like they they are him. You know, there, there's a sense of that here, and in, in a lot of them, a lot of the cartoons are definitely his. Um, but you also see kind of a wider range than you do in his other works, which I, I do think is kind of neat. Um, but yeah, I mean, like it's good, but I think he's put out better. So, you know, these are for the, this is for more of the hardcore Yi Lee fan. Um, you can go get it out now in shops. You can go uh, hit up your local comic shop. We have a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code to tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we can get a small percentage for doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, just watching our video support us, so thank you for that. If you are into graphic novels, you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.